Hello, everybody. So uh, thank you for logging in today. Um, it's Tuesday, just in case you guys don't know what day it is. I've been kind of losing track myself. OK, so every day kind of feels like a Monday lately, like Friday felt like a Monday, Saturday felt like a Monday. So I just don't know what day it is. So it's Tuesday, Tuesday, March 31st. You can even check your calendars. OK, so we're going to welcome Toby back today. Have a round of applause for Toby. Yay! Okay, now, if you guys logged in yesterday, you were supposed to have a pillow ready. Okay, so if it's your first time today, go run into your room, or if you're in your room, grab your pillow real fast. Grab a pillow. Go, go, go. You guys should have pillows, right? So we talked about that yesterday, and I'll show you guys what, what we're going to use the pillow for. So, Eddie, show them your cool pillow. You can go, show them close oh, to the camera, sir. Hey, let me help you. Carter okay, go ahead. Yeah, look at that. That's, huh? That's me? that's his pillow. I'm the red one. I'm Ninja Turtles, baby. Ninja Turtles, okay? Check it out. Check it out. Okay, so Toby brought the pillow that, that he sleeps on. Okay, there we go. Oh, look at that. Toby loves his pillow. So the reason being, we're going to warm up with your pillows today. Um, I want you guys to understand that there's things that are inside your house, that like objects that you guys can you, uh, use as part of your training while you're at home. Okay, because you know we don't we don't have the bag. You guys, some of you don't. Most of you don't have bags. A couple of you guys do, though. I've been watching your Instagram videos that your parents are posting of you guys kicking and stuff. So very cool. Okay, so if you do have a bag, awesome. Most of you guys do not have a bag. So we're going to be using things that you would find inside your house. Okay, so today we're going to use pillows. Okay, so now watch what I want you guys to do. I want you guys to hold your pillows all the way above your head. So Toby, hold it. There we go. Good, good, good. Let's see it. So ready? Now lock your arms out. Now, if you guys see their arms are super straight, okay, does that hurt a little? You can uh, pick your hands a little wider, sir, Eddie. Even wider, as wide as you can. Hold it outside of the pillow. Okay, so he's going to hold the outside of his pillow. Okay, if you have a, like, a long pillow like Sir Eddie does, okay, Toby's pillow is kind of long. If you have a smaller pillow, then just hold the pillow like straight, okay? But your arms should be totally straight. There should be no bending of the arm. So if your arms are like this, okay, that's incorrect. I want you guys to straighten your arms out and hold that pillow. Okay, now we're gonna do full squats. This isn't gonna be easy for some of you, so you have to you just give me your best effort, okay? So let's see a full deep squat, sir, real slow. And then all the way back up. Toby, let's see you do it. Oh my goodness! Whoa! Did you guys see how low Toby went? Whoa! Can Toby, can you do that again? Okay, now, so ready, show them your squat. Oh, so that he went lower. Now, we're going to do, uh, I want you guys to give me 10 of them. Remember, we are pacing ourselves because some, remember, we have some beginners at home and we have our advanced students at home. So you guys give me 10 at your own pace. For all my leaders and advanced students, I want you guys to give me 15 to 20. Ready? Go. On your own. Okay, so while they're doing their squats, so I'm going to explain to you guys like proper technique. While you guys are squatting, make sure that your chest is out and your shoulders are back. If your shoulders are forward, you're going to have a little bend to your back, and we don't want that. Okay, that's going to put unnecessary strain on your back, and it might hurt later. Okay, so make sure that back is super straight, like a board. Okay, straight up and down. Okay, just 10. Just 10. And for my advanced students, I want you guys to give me 15 to 20. Okay? Good, nice job, Toby. Great job over here, Toby. Way to go, sir, Eddie. Way to go. Nice. There we go. We're just going to try to get our bodies warmed up, okay? Great job, great job, great job. There we go. Good, just 10. What number are you on? 15. There you go. Oh, whoa. That's right, because he's advanced. He's advanced. All right, that's good, Toby. Great job, dude. All right, buddy. Okay, now. <laughs> okay, here we go. So, watch what I want you guys to do next. Take, take one knee. Put one knee down on the ground. Doesn't matter which knee. Doesn't matter which knee. Good. Put one knee down. Okay? Now, I want you guys to take your pillow. And you don't have to hold it wide anymore. Hold it straight together. Hold it together. Okay? So now, depending on which knee you have on the floor and which foot you have up on the ground, okay? So whichever knee you have on the floor, if it's this knee, the pillow is going to come from that side. And you're going to bring your pillow up slightly at an angle. So it's not gonna, you're not gonna bring your pillow across this way. You're gonna bring the pillow up slightly at an angle. Okay, but I want your arms fully extended. So if you notice my arms, they're not like this. Their arms are straight. I'm trying to make my body and my arms as long, clean lines as possible. Okay, 
here, nice straight lines, okay, in a nice 45 degree angle. I want you guys to give me 20, okay, that's one more than 19, that's 19 plus one, we covered our math. I want 20 reps on each side, so 20 times on each knee down. Okay, ready, go. Let's go, take your time, so watch the there we go, good. He's going up at an angle with that pillow. Not too fast. Good, 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 there we go, good, uh-huh, there we go, good, very nice. Very nice, good, keep going, keep going. Good, 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 let's go, let's go. Good, exhale and breathe. Make sure you guys are breathing out. Shh, right? So we're not holding that breath in. When you guys hold your breath in, it actually, it, it just, it's gonna give you a headache or, or like make you feel dizzy, okay? Because your body requires oxygen when you're doing a physical movement. You just need to breathe anyway, just to stay alive. So breathe, exhale, there we go, there we go. Great job. So once you're done with that side, okay, because I see some kids in the monitor really working those abs, okay, go ahead and switch legs on your own. You don't have to wait for me. So if you're already done with your 20 and you're ready to switch legs, go ahead and do that right now, okay? And then if you're still at home, like a couple of you guys are still working on the same side, take your time. And remember, we've been saying this since last week, you want to refocus on good something. Good technique, that's right, good technique, okay? So focus on good technique and make sure you guys breathe with all the movements. So every time your arms come up, you wanna just exhale out, okay? And then as the pillow comes back down, you breathe back in. So your lungs are contracting, then expanding, contracting, and then expanding, okay? Great job over there, great work, great work. Breathe, there we go, keep your back straight. So if some of you guys are hunching your backs, I can see you guys on a monitor, make sure your backs are straight as you can. There we go, don't bend those back at all. Don't bend your back, don't bend your back. Caden Chang's mom is working out. Oh, nice job, Mrs. Chang. Caden Chang's mom is working out too. Yeah, we love it when parents join us. So even if your brothers and sisters and moms and dads, even if they're not students at Shen's, I want you guys to invite them to work out with you, okay? Because some of the stuff is gonna be kind of fun. We're gonna start, we're gonna start incorporating the towel chucks. The, the towel nunchucks were so popular, we're gonna probably use those as part of our warm-ups every day, okay? Because there's so many cool tricks that you guys can learn with your towel chucks at home. And once you guys get back to shins, watch how simple using a real pair of nunchucks becomes. It's gonna become so easy, it's the same thing. Okay, the object changes, but the technique stays the same. Okay, now, the next one, okay, one more now, guys. So now, let's go ahead and stand up, Toby, go ahead and stand up, so ready? All I want you guys to do is this, okay? So I want you guys to put your feet together. There we go, so now watch, take your arms all the way out, and start making full circles with your full circles with your pillows, like like your like over your head. There we go, big circles. Big, you get a good stretch. So it's gonna go all the way down. The pillow's gonna come all the way down, all the way around the world. There we go. There we go. There we go. Uh huh. And you, yeah, yeah. So already feels that stretch. Okay. Yeah, you can feel it. Okay. So if your arms are locked out, you'll feel certain muscle groups like your abs. Okay. Your shoulders. Okay. Your back. Okay. There we go. How make big circles. And use the, entire, use the entire space that you have. Okay, you wanna stretch out that back. Make it as long as you can. Okay, while you're rotating your body a little bit. So you're gonna use your core for your balance and your stabilization, okay? So squeeze your tummy. Keep your tummy nice and strong. There we go, now go the other way. Some of you guys are only going one way. Let's all switch directions, okay? Make sure you guys get a good stretch on both sides. Try to elongate that spine. Make your spine and back as long as you can. And you're gonna twirl and then you're gonna reach down Okay, let's try to get all those muscles warmed up in your body. Let's go for five more seconds, guys. Keep going, you're doing a great job out there. Great work, keep going, make sure you guys breathe. Okay, we've been talking about, a lot about breathing lately. Okay, and that, remember, it creates better tempo, better timing, better rhythm. Okay, great job, breathe. Awesome, looking good, looking good. There we go, uh-huh, and time. Okay, now, so remember, if you guys just joined us today, these are what I'm talking about. These are our, our homemade nunchucks. So it's very safe, it's just a towel, okay? We can, if you get at home, like you can learn how to twirl things by just like literally just in your fingers. Look at that, I'm twirling a towel. Just because I've been getting bored, okay? Just like you guys, I'm just, I have certain things I have to get done every day, but then I have like eight hours left. Well, what am I gonna do with those eight hours? Just do, what? I've been doing like this kind of stuff, okay? Stuff that like keeps my mind off of all the negativity in the world right now. Okay, we gotta stay positive. So stay happy, stay fit, stay strong. Okay, so let's get this party started. So make sure that you guys, if you guys, if your parents made you guys undo your towel chucks, make sure that your parents understand and know that 
that you're going to be using them every day. And we're going to be using them as like jump ropes. Like you guys are going to learn how to double hop. Okay, I know some of you guys have been learning that trick here at Shins, like double hopping on a jump rope. We're going to teach you guys how to do all that at home with your very safe towel chuck. Okay, if you guys have never seen this, if you're logging on for the first time today, okay, at Shins Live, you guys are going to notice that these are very flexible and it's very safe. So even if you drop it on your foot, it's not going to hurt. You can, you know, you can drop it on tile, whatever. This, these towel chucks are very safe. So make sure you guys have them ready for, for workouts tomorrow, okay? All right, now, Toby's going to have to head back and take his little nappy poo. Okay, so wave bye to Toby. There we go. Good. Bye, Toby. Okay. All right, buddy. Have the high five. There you go. So hopefully Toby comes back after his nap, okay, because Toby's still really young. Okay, Toby's like still a little, like in the puppy phase. Okay, okay, bye, Toby. Nappy time, nappy time, Toby. Okay, so he's still in his, he's still in like in his kitty mode. So we have to make sure that you guys still uh, stay well rested. Okay, so if you guys are like going to bed late and waking up early, you're gonna be cranky and like you're gonna be tired. Okay, and then also it just it it, it makes it lowers your immune system. So you're gonna if you are tired all the time, you're not getting exercise. That's what you guys are gonna do today, right? every day, if you don't exercise on a regular basis, your immune system gets weaker, your body gets weaker. And that's something we don't want to happen right now. We actually want our, binds, our bodies to get stronger right now so that you don't get sick, right? And that way mom and dad don't get sick, brother and sisters don't get sick, especially grandma and grandpa, okay? So remember, that's part of the reason why you guys are doing the right thing by staying at home and exercising your bodies. And at the same time, we're getting this super strong. Okay, so now watch what I want you guys to do. We're gonna. This is gonna be a little bit harder uh, with the pillow exercises now. Okay, now that Toby's Toby's taking his nap, so now we can do something a little bit more advanced. Okay, so now all I want you guys to do is this. Go ahead and lay down now. Lay down. There we go. Good. Now watch. I'm gonna turn you sideways already. So now watch. Shorty's gonna grip his pillow with his with his ankles. Uh, make your ankles straight, sir. Make your. Uh, so now I want your legs to be all the way out. So straight. Good. Straighten your legs out, sir. Okay, so now he's got tights on there. Those aren't his underwear, so we're good. Okay, all right, here we go. So when you guys do this, this is a V up, but with your pillow. Okay, so his hands are going to start behind him. Start with the hands behind him. Now exchange the pillow to your hands in the middle, and then go back up, and then exchange it back to his feet. So watch what he does. He's going from his hand to his feet, his hand, and then to his feet. There we go. Okay, and your feet and hand don't touch the ground. They're going to meet somewhere in the middle. Only for 15 seconds. Ready? Go. V ups with your pillow. Let's go. 15 seconds. Let's go. You're going to arms all the way out, feet and legs together, arms apart, legs apart, legs and feet together, and then arms together. Okay. Great job out there. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Great work. Great work. Great work. Great job, everybody. Great job. Keep going. Keep going. Breathe. Breathe. Make sure you guys breathe. Okay. Three more seconds. Three, two, one and time and relax. Great job. Good. Catch your breath. Everyone breathe. Go ahead and get a sip of water. If you guys are starting to get a little thirsty like I am, go ahead and get a sip of water. There we go. Movie magic. I got my quick little water tin. All right. And just like that, it's gone. Okay. So take your sip of water. There we go. Good. Nice catch. Okay. Great job. Okay. Here we go. So now watch. This is what I want you guys to do. Okay. Go and stand back on your feet. So I want you guys to grip one end of the pillow. So now you guys are gonna learn how to take someone down to the ground. Okay, so remember, a lot of you guys have been missing your safeguard classes, right? Because we haven't been class at Shin, so we still have to maintain our skill levels for self-defense, right? So we can't just punch and kick and do handstands. So we have to, we have to keep training certain muscle groups in a certain like uh, frame of mind, right? So, we, so right now we're gonna focus on self-defense for like next 15, uh, 15 minutes or so. Okay, so now watch. So Eddie's gonna grip one end. He's gonna let one end, one end down. So face the camera, sir. So like so have with your fingers down. There you go. Look at that, Ninja Turtles, guys. <laughs> sure, Eddie has Ninja Turtles. <laughs> you guys can never be so old that you forget to be a kid. Okay, so there we go, Ninja Turtles. All right, so he's gonna hold it fingertips down like this, sir. There we go. Okay, so your pillow should be straight down. You guys see what's happening over here? His pillow straight down, right? So now watch. I want you guys to do this. I want you to take the pillow behind you. Take the pillow behind you. So face the camera, so ready? So the pillow is behind him. All I want you guys to do is step out. It's, there we go. And then I want you to slam the pillow straight down. Go. Oh, 
Okay, so that's how you guys are going to learn how to grab. It's called a hip toss, okay, or a shoulder toss, right? It's a combination of using your hips and your shoulders. So that's why it's called a hip toss or a shoulder toss, okay? So one more time. He's going to use those arms. He's going to keep those arms out straight behind him, and he's going to stick his leg out almost as if it's a trip, like you're going to trip that bully, okay? Because remember, the bully's always, always like already had punched you once. Maybe the bully grabbed you, right? That's probably when you're going to use this move, okay? Because remember, when the bully touches you and actually physically puts a hand on you, it's a different game, okay? If they're just using their words, you can walk away. But if they actually physically grab you and you can't get away, you have to do something about it. You have to defend yourself so that you can run and go find an adult or find some help, okay? So watch, one more time. You're gonna go fingers pointed down, arms are straight. You're gonna stick your leg out as if you're gonna trip that bully. So he sticks that leg out. You see how that leg is nice and strong? This other leg here is posted, right? You guys have been learning new ter terminology, it's posted, okay? So his leg is posted, and then he's gonna slam that pillow as hard as he can. Whoa, and then he's gonna reset. Okay, there we go. So show him again, so ready? He's gonna turn, and then he sticks that leg out. There we go. Now, watch what I want you guys to do. For all my advanced students, I want that pillow to come up and then down so that you get full range of motion with your arms because we're still trying to stay fit, right? We're, we're still trying to be strong. So that's a little bit more advanced, a little harder movement. So now, so Eddie, sh show them for them now. So watch, he's gonna turn and then leg, arms. Oh, there we go. Do you guys saw the difference, right? So if that was a human body, the pillow would be like that person's legs. And then you slam down, and then this is how I want you guys to finish. This is called a knee ride, okay? It's called exactly what it sounds like, a knee, and like you're in the car for a ride, like you're, you're riding something, okay? So watch. So he's going to do this again, but he's going to finish with a knee ride. Okay, because that's what you want to do in real life. Once you throw that bully down to the floor, right? And you don't, remember at this time, at this point, you haven't even punched the bully. So, okay, remember, you guys can, you guys can fight back without actually punching or kicking somebody, right? So sometimes you do though. I want you guys to understand, sometimes you do have to punch and you do have to kick in a real life situation. But most of the times with, like, with kids your own age, like you rarely have to do that. You guys can do certain things without even having to hit them. And this is one of them. Tripping them, throwing them to the floor and putting your knee on their chest. And then you telling them, hey, don't ever mess with me again. That bully's gonna think twice about picking on you or picking on your group of friends, right? Because remember, everyone has friends, right? And bullies pick on groups of people too. So bullies will pick on one person, but they also pick on groups of people. So you have to remember that also. So one more time for technique, okay? So Eddie's gonna throw that pillow all the way behind him he, and then slam it. And then he's gonna finish with his knee right. So watch what he is. His knee is down. He's pushing that pillow down. Okay, the other leg is out straight. That's his posted leg, right? He posted that leg, right? That foot is flat. And then all I want you guys to do is stand back up. And then start again, okay? So now, we're gonna go for about one minute. Okay, one minute. In that one minute, I don't wanna look down and see anybody hit their brother or sister with that pillow. Okay? Okay? All right, yeah, Ayla, Yahab, don't be hitting each other at home with those pillows. It's Yahab. Yeah, yeah, Yahab. Yahab, don't be hitting your sister with that pillow. All right. <laughs> LOL. Okay, we gotta stay happy. We gotta make sure that you guys laugh at each other, okay? I've been laughing at myself every day. Okay, and that's the only way to stay positive. Laugh, laugh, laugh. I want you guys to wake up with a smile, and I want you guys to go to bed with a smile. Okay, just be in the best mood as you can be every day, because that's all we can do. That's all we have in our life that we can control right now. It's hard to control everything else. So the things that we can control is how, how we feel each day, and the, kind of, and the kind of vibes and the energy that we give to everybody else. So be happy, have a smile on your face, okay? And then let's have a good time with this. If you want, slam that pillow, you guys. Like, it, it feels good to slam things right now. Normally at Shins, you guys get to punch and kick bags, and you get to release all that, that energy you guys have. You guys have so much energy at home, okay? So that's part of the reason why it's so, it's so hard to stay at home every day, okay? So release that energy. And every time you slam that pillow, don't forget to do one thing. Breathe. You are correct. 
breathe, okay? Here we go, ready? So you guys are going at your own pace. Ready, oh, you know what? For all my higher belts out there, do a jump in the air and slam your pillow. Show them that version, so ready? So trip and then jump. Oh, so all my high belts, all my advanced students, if you wanna try it with a jump, just to take it up a notch, go ahead and try it with a jump. One minute starts now, go, go, one minute, let's go. Good, now, while Sir Eddie's doing this here with you guys at home, okay, when you guys, as far as good technique, make sure your arms are locked out, make sure that your hip is stretched all the way out with that leg, and then you throw that pillow down, okay? So even though you guys are having a good time with your pillows at home, make sure that you also focus on good technique, okay? And then make sure you guys finish with that knee ride. Don't stop, don't stop. Make sure you guys finish with that knee ride. There we go, there we go. If you guys notice, Sir Eddie's even using his foot to trip that pillow, okay? So it's not just using his leg, he's actually hooking that foot, okay? So really pay close attention to the technique of it, okay? Keep going, you guys are doing great. Make sure you guys breathe, okay? We're staying strong at home right now. Good, breathe, keep going. Slam that pillow as hard as you want. It feels good, slam it hard. Slam that pillow, there we go. Looking good, so you looking good. Keep going, keep going. Great job, great job, guys, great job. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Keep going, looking good, Sir Eddie. Great job, keep going, keep going. Great, and five more seconds, keep going. Good, I think I just got word that Sir Dale is in the building. I think he's gonna join us in a few seconds here. Good, in three, two, one, in time. Great job, breathe, Shh. breathe, there we go. Hey, Sir Dale's here, come on in, Sir Dale. Sir Dale. Woo! All right. Oh, okay, now. Sir. There we go, I'm going way by. Yay! Get a little closer. There we go. Whoa! Yay! Okay, so you guys just you say here, Sir Dale. Yes, sir. So now we're gonna embarrass Sir Dale. Sir Eddie, oh. Sir Eddie, come over. Okay, so uh when was his birthday? Sunday. Sunday was his birthday. So we're gonna do this, okay? Okay, so ma'am Nicole, get a snap photo of the monitor right now. Everyone uh, show Sir, Sir Dale your love right here. Go, right. give him some love. <laughs> Everyone, go, we, he can see you on the monitor. Give Sir Dale some love. Give Sir Dale some love right now, guys. Go, give him Sir Dale some love. There we go, give Sir Dale some love. There we go, uh-huh. Okay, now, we're gonna sing happy birthday to Sir Dale. Okay, here we go, ready? In three, two, one, go. Happy birthday to you, cha-cha-cha. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha! Happy birthday, Sir Dale! Yeah. Sir Dale! Happy birthday to you! Yay! Okay, give him some more love! Give this guy some more love! There we go! Okay, great job! Okay, so now, we're very excited here. Okay, so Sir Dale's gonna join us today for our workout too, okay? So Sir Dale, to go grab your, uh, grab, do you have a pillow here? You grab Toby's pillow! I think he's taking a nap. I need that pillow. There we go, okay. So now watch. We're gonna learn how to transition from, from mount to side control and S mount. Okay, so so what Sir Eddie's gonna put his pillow down. So, so now Sir Dale normally does tumbling, right? He normally does kick and flip classes. So today he's gonna learn along with you guys. So if you guys are like more like beginners to safeguard or intermediate students, so okay, so you, this is gonna be like harder for you or or very brand new. For all my advanced students, I want you guys to just take it up notch and, and just go at a faster pace than everybody. Okay, so so he's in full mount. You guys should know this, right? So Sir Dale, just so you know, that's called full mount, okay? So now, when you guys go from here, go from side control now, sir. He's gonna turn, there we go. And second, there we go, good. That's side control, there we go, right there, perfect. Okay, you guys saw the difference, right? So, one more time, sir, ready? He's going from mount, turns, and then turns his hips, okay? And now, if you guys saw, he's going for seatbelt control. Okay, he's going seatbelt control under the pillow. Seatbelt control under the pillow. And you can even like hold your pillow in if you need to, right? Because that would be in real life. So your pillow is going to mimic uh, another person since a lot of you don't have brothers and sisters at home training with you. If you do though, go for it. We've had, we've had other people at home uh, practicing these movements with their brothers and sisters or in the moms and dads too. Okay, so do it. If you have someone to work out with you at home, you guys are all stuck at home anyways, right? So go ahead, go ahead and do that. Okay, so one more time, Sir, Sir Eddie. He's gonna, his hands are planted firm, he turns, and then he shifts his hips. Okay, if you notice, he finishes in what? Seatbelt control, okay, and then he's gonna lift that pillow up. Okay, so now, 
Take your time. We're going to do this for another minute. Okay, take your time. Pace yourself. Okay, advanced students, go a little faster. Make sure you guys do both sides. If this is brand new to you and you, you're still kind of learning the move, just practice your good side. Everyone has a good side and, and a not so good side. One minute starts now. Go. Go, go, go. Let's go. Let's see a little side control. Let's go. Uh-huh. You're going to go from mount to side control. Keep going. Go a little faster if you understand the movement now. There we go. Great job. Look at these two work. Look at these two work. There we go. There we go. Woo, look at this guy. Huh? We haven't seen Sir Dale in a while. There we go. Keep going. You guys are doing great. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Breathe. Make sure you guys are breathing throughout the whole thing. Make sure you guys breathe. Okay, breathing is very, very key. Excellent job. Keep shifting those hips. You're going to learn that in safeguard, a lot of the power, a lot of the speed really comes from your core, just like everything else, right? So if you're learning a backflip on the trampolines here at Shins, if you're just learning how to like just to ride a bike, your core has to be on point, okay? So breathe. Make sure you guys breathe, okay? No breathe. Little sisters. No little sisters. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Now, don't hurt your little sisters at home or do your little brothers at home. If they're too, if they're way little than you, use a pillow. Use a pillow. Yeah, use a pillow. If they're way too little for you, use a pillow. You don't want to crush them. We're not here to crush our siblings. Okay, crush the pillow instead. You know who you're talking about. We know. Yeah, you know who you are at home. Okay, don't crush your little sibling. Okay, great job. Breathe. A few more seconds, guys. A few more seconds. A few more seconds. Great job. Keep going. And time. Okay, now for a little fun. Up on your feet, guys. So now, good. Now, Sir Eddie and Sir Dale are going to grab their pillows. They're going to try to hold their pillow up all the way up with their arms fully extended. And you're going to have to balance your pillow in the middle somewhere. Okay, so balance your pillows. You're, everything has a center of gravity. So, okay, us as humans, we have a center of gravity. The pillow also has a center of gravity. Okay, now, I want you guys to challenge yourself. Use the other side if you have to, sir. Switch it. There we go. There we go. Good. Make sure I want the pillow to dangle. If you have a big, long pillow, now watch. I want you guys to use one finger. One finger. Use one finger to hold that pillow up. So you're going to have to actually turn your body. This other arm can go here. So watch the exercise. They're going to do this. They're going to slide their fingertips down and up. Okay, so pretend. I want you guys to pretend there's a pillow on top of my finger. My hand is here. My hand is here. Okay, I'm going to turn this way. And then I'm going to slide my hand down. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate on this side. I'm here. I'm here. My hand is here. My fingers holding the pillow up in the air. My arm is straight. This arm is straight. This arm is straight. And I'm going to slide my fingers down without letting the pillow fall. I'm going to slide my, pill my fingertips down without letting my pillow fall. Okay, I'm going to slide my fingers all the way down. Go as low as you can with this hand. The hand is sliding down my leg. If you guys can touch the floor with that, like OMG, that is like ridiculously good. Okay, so if you guys know, oh, okay, we do have a couple of kids that can do that. If you guys, remember, you're working with your abs. This is a killer ab exercise. And that's the one muscle we want to make sure stays super strong, even while we're all stuck at home right now. Okay, so extend that arm. Yeah, extend your arms out. Great job. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to slide your fingers all the way to your toes. So your arms are here. My pillow is going to stay upward. It's, my arm is upright. And my other finger, my tips go down. I'm going to slide my fingers down my, my leg. Okay? If you're starting to feel that in your abs, you're doing it right. Let's see who can go lower, Sir Eddie or Sir Dell. Oh, my goodness. Sir Dell's kind of flexible. Maybe he is a ninja. <laughs> That's what the myth is. That's a myth. That's a legend going around here that... He's an actual ninja. So let's keep an eye on this guy, huh? There we go. Good job. Slide your fingers. A few more seconds. Okay. There we go. Good. Slide that finger all the way down your leg. Remember, that hand's going to go all the way down your leg. There we go. Good. Don't have your hands out from your leg. Have your leg, have your arms right there up against it. I'm going to give you guys this angle here. I'm going to slide that hand here. I'm sliding it. I'm sliding my hand all the way down. And switch arms. Go the other way. Okay, so if it was in this arm, go ahead and switch to this arm. Go ahead and do that now. Good. Now, remember, challenge yourself. Try to use one finger to hold that pillow up. Okay, if you have to grab it with your other fingers, that's fine. But try to hold that pillow with one finger. Okay, ready? Go for it. Go. Great form over here with Sir Dale. Look at that. Nice, long, clean lines. There we go. Good, good, good. Look at that. Hair is touching the floor. His ponytail is very robust. Okay. 
There we go. Good, good, good. Excellent job. Look at that. So he's got a bad elbow. Oh, look at that. But he's still working. Look at that. Breathing. I can hear them breathing. Make sure you guys are breathing at home along with us. Make sure you guys are breathing out. Every time you stand up, shh, exhale. Okay? Great work over there. Great work. Great work. I can see you guys. Great job. Great job. Great job. Keep going. Keep going. Stretch that stomach out. Some of you are, don't get lazy on me. Even if it hurts your tummy muscles, that means your tummy muscles are working. Okay? Because this is not really a super beginner move. This is more like an intermediate, almost borderline advanced movement. Okay? Because you have to have really good technique in order to do this right. So make sure you guys breathe. Okay? Let's go. Let's go for 15 more seconds. Let's go. 15 more seconds. 15 more seconds. Okay? 15 more seconds. Keep going. Keep going. Great job out there. Keep going. Keep going. You guys are doing awesome. Good. Uh -huh. A few more seconds. Make sure you guys are breathing. Get a nice long stretch. Get a nice long stretch. Good, good, good. And time. Now, watch. Now, I want you guys to start trying to spin your pillows like it's a pizza. Go. Start spinning your pillows. Go. This is just for fun. Start trying to spin your pillows. Spin your pillows. Come on. Spin your pillows. Let's go. Who can spin their pillows? I want to see on the monitor. Go. Try to spin your pillow. Spin your pillow. Try to spin your pillow. Go, go, go. Spin that pillow. Go like it's a pizza. Spin that pillow. Let's go. How's that spinning coming along, Sir Daddy? Go, Sir Dale. Oh, look at Sir Dale. Oh, my God. Huh? You can work in dominoes. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Who else can spin that pizza? Let's go. Spin that pizza. Yeah. Okay, now time. Now this time, what I want you guys to do is this. I want you to hold the pillow in front of you. Hold it, huh? And I want you to toss it and catch it behind you. But you're not allowed to cheat. You can't turn your head around to catch the pillow. You have to toss it and then grab it with, you have, grab it with your hands. And then, but you can't cheat. Don't turn your head. Okay, let's do this right. I want you guys to do this for 30 seconds. You're going to start in front of you, toss the pillow, and grab it behind you. Ready? Go. Oh, there we go. Remember, if you guys drop the pillow, it's okay. Go ahead, sir. Ready? Keep going, sir. Dale. Okay, while they're doing this exercise with you guys at home, we're just trying to have a good time, trying to stay fit, trying to try to work, you know, trying to trying to make out the uh, workouts a little different for you guys every day, but the same message, okay, of being strong in the body, strong in the mind, right? So that's going to be the same no matter what, whether it's a Monday, a Wednesday, or a Friday, or a Sunday, or a Saturday, every day, stay strong here and stay strong here. So even though we don't have Shin's live classes on Saturdays and Sundays, make sure you guys are doing some form of exercise. Okay, and we've been talking about this a lot. Okay, we have to stay healthy right now. This is the most important time that we all stay healthy. Okay, so keep, oh, keep going. Oh, no, look. No. Now, if you guys do this, close your eye and try it. Like toss the pillow and then close your eyes and try to grab it. Go, let's take it up a notch. Go, try that now. Go, 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 and try to get a record. So if you guys have been, try to count every, how many times you guys can catch that pillow in a row. Okay, and then once you guys drop it, Type it, type in the keyboard, hey, I did 15 catches, okay, or 20 catches. Let's figure out at home who can do the most. Figure out what your record is. Go, go, go. Try to count how many times you guys can catch it. And now you get bonus points if your eyes are shut. So if you type it, if you hit us up and say, hey, I did 20 catches with my eyes shut, that's going to be different than I did 20 catches with my eyes open. Oh, so Eddie dropped, I think he, he might have dropped one, okay. Okay, keep going, keep going, close your eyes. We're kind of like using the force, okay? Keep going, this is almost like beginner level Jedi training. So keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Great job of work, great job, breathe. The whole time you're breathing, great job, keep going. Good, 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 keep going a few more seconds. Jetzel's got nine in a row. Keep going, whoa, someone's got nine in a row already? Georgia, Hope in Georgia. Hope in Georgia, nice job. With no eyes. With no eyes, oh my goodness. Okay, now time. Okay, here we go. Now, we're still kind of focused on our abs right now, so watch what I want you guys to do. Sir Dale and Sir Eddie are going to join along. They're going to hold their pillow down with one hand like this, and all they're going to do is switch the pillow from one arm to, to the other. So they're going to switch this way, and then this way, and then this way. Okay, so, oh, look at Sir Dale. Look at him go. Keep going. Almost like a bow staff. You're almost using your pillow like a bow staff, right? Okay, now keep going. Go, start, start spinning the pillow around your back, guys. Go. Go, go, go. Good, good, good. Keep going. 
Oh, look at that. If you guys were noticing, Sir Dale did like a little wrist spin. If you want to start tricking with your pillow, go ahead and start tricking. Go. You can toss your pillow. You can catch it and keep on spinning it. Catch your pillow. You can spin it the other way. Okay, so remember, we've been learning how to trick with certain things at home, like towels, right? So we're going to be using those towel tricks every day. So now you guys are also learning how to do tricks with your pillow. Every object can be used in other ways than it was built for. So even though pillows were built for sleeping or just like lounging or being lazy or just kind of like hugging it while you guys watch a movie or something, right? So pillows can also be used to trick with, right? So you can trick with your pillows. So keep going. Remember, you guys can also do this. You can helicopter spin above your head and then you can keep going around your back. So there's like the, mo the movement with the object are gonna stay the same, whether you guys use your towel checks Okay, your homemade nunchucks at home. Like tomorrow, I'll show, you, I'll show you guys what I mean by helicopter spins. You can do the same move with a pillow. So even though the object may change, the technique stays very similarly the same. Okay, I want you guys to remember that because when you guys are back at shins, watch how much easier a bow staff or a pair of nunchucks is gonna be to use. You're gonna go, whoa, this is like pretty easy now. Just because you guys practice the movements of the bow staff and the nunchucks at home with things that you had at home, like a pillow or towels, right? So like tomorrow we're gonna use towels. So you guys need to understand that just because you don't have the same equipment at home that you guys would normally have at shins, there's other things that can mimic the technique. Okay, so great job, keep going, keep going. Keep going, you're doing awesome out there, guys. And then time, good. Now, go ahead and put, you can toss your pillows to the side. Okay, go ahead and sip a water. If you guys want a sip of water, go ahead and get some. Okay, we're gonna practice our handstands and our donkey kicks next. Okay, handstands and donkey kicks next. Now, if you can't do handstands or donkey kicks, okay, we're gonna modify the exercise for you. Okay, so go ahead and get your sip of water. So I know there's a couple of you guys at home that are still learning how to do a handstand. Like, I don't know how to do a handstand. I think I would fall on my face. So we'll have Sir Eddie, uh, I mean, Sir Dale demonstrate like a different version. So, okay, so for most of you though, Handstands and donkey kicks are, are pretty easy. I mean, they're not super simple, but they're fairly easy, right? So if you guys are like more advanced students, we're gonna show you guys how to do that version as well. Um, remember, we everybody has a different pace. Some people learn very quickly, and then some people um, that are non-typical, okay? Some people learn very slowly, and they require like different uh, explanations on how to do things. So you guys are gonna have to bear with me, okay? Because we want everybody to have a good time at home and work out with us, right? So now, Sir Dale, is gonna, we're gonna just start with a very simple donkey kick. So Sir Dale is gonna face the sideways profile, sir. So the first thing he's gonna do, okay? So now show them three real ones, sir. He's gonna show you three real ones. Yeah, go. So if you notice, his hands come off the floor, okay? Great job. So now, Sir Dale, I'm gonna bring you in. If you were if you were teaching me, and let's say I'm a brand new white belt, and I I don't think I can actually do that. Number one, I just had knee surgery because I'm an old man. But even if I had good knees, I don't even think I could do that. I'm really good at breaking things. Like if he said, "Hey, Grandmaster Shin, go break that," I'd go, "Oh my gosh, that's my thing. That's like my superpower. Like that's one of my superpowers at breaking stuff." So I think I would actually like break my head. Okay, so. Now, Sir Dale, let's say if I'm a white belt, how, let, let's say, so you're talking to a white belt, how would you explain to do that correctly and safely? Because remember, you guys are training at home, so we have to make sure that this is safe. So Sir Dale is gonna explain to you, if you guys are brand new to this program, um, how to do a donkey kick safely, but correctly. Go ahead, sir. Well, first, make sure there's nothing around you. Not even your brother or sister. You don't wanna kick them on accident. The second step, to make sure that you do it correctly, you gotta make sure that your hands are on the ground and your feet in the air. Your hands and feet can't be on the ground at the same time. One's in the air and the other one's on the ground. So make sure that they're, that your feet are up in the air and then one, right when they're coming down, you wanna push off the ground right before they hit the ground. That way your hands are up and your feet are on the ground. You don't wanna put your feet down and then all of a sudden put your hands up. No, that's, that's, uh, that's not right. You wanna have a back and forth, kind of like a seesaw, okay? So when one goes down, the other goes up. So when your hands are on the ground, you wanna push push the ground away while you're snapping your feet down like a mouse trap. And as soon as your feet are on the ground, you kinda of wanna jump on your hands. Not like from really tall up, kinda of close to the ground, that way you're not hitting the ground so hard. So go ahead and try that. Let's do 
10 of them, okay? So everyone follow along with Sir Geld home. Give me 10 sharp, crisp, clean donkey kicks. Ready, go, 10 of them, go. Okay, so Sir Dale and Sir Eddie are going to join you guys at home. Push. You're going to push. Okay, you see Sir Dale, he's saying push. You're going to push and push. Okay, make sure you guys are breathing out and push. Push. There we go, push. Oh, nice donkey kicks on the monitor. You guys are doing great at home. Okay, oh my goodness, I saw some perfect ones in there. Great job, guys, great job. And if you guys are beginners, don't forget, it's all about the effort. Okay, just make sure you do your best because the whole thing is about staying fit. Okay, great job. Okay, go ahead and finish up with your 10. You guys are looking great. Great job, everybody. 10 of them. Awesome. And time, great job. Good, catch your breath, catch your breath. If you're a little dizzy from going up and down, that's okay. Okay, we're gonna let the blood go, you know, rush, just uh, circulate back in your body, okay? Catch your breath, deep breath in. Exhale out, <sighs> out. Okay, so now, let's say, Sir Dale, um, let's say this time I'm a white belt still, I don't know how to do a, a handstand, okay? So now he's gonna talk to you guys at home if you're brand new. Now remember, if you guys are advanced, go ahead and start your, your handstands now. You guys can do different versions. You can do like one leg bent, one leg straight, okay? So Sir Dale's gonna explain to you guys, all the beginners out there, the people that are brand new to our program, how to throw a proper handstand. Go ahead, Sir Dale. All right, well, the first thing you want to do is you want to have a straight body. You want to have your hands all the way down, run through your body, through the back of your leg. You want to keep that straight body. Now, when you think of a pillar, they're, really, they're, they're made out of strong, straight stuff. That way the building doesn't collapse. You wouldn't want to make a building out of gummy worms. So you want to keep your body nice and tight all the way through. And what you're going to do is you're going to swing that back leg up. Swing that back leg up. See how I have a straight body? That's what you want to do. You don't want to go down and then kick your leg up. You broke the straight line. So keep the straight line. Once you have your hands on the ground with this leg right here, you want to jump up in the air and keep it straight. Don't bend it like that. Keep it straight as much as you can. See how long you can uh, stay up in the air. Maybe one or two seconds. Well, he just challenged you guys. So stay. he just said, hey, challenge yourself and see how long you guys can stay up in the air. It's all of you guys versus Sir Dale and Sir Eddie. Ready, go. Tight tummy. There you go, tight tummy. Now, while Sir Dale and Sir Eddie are doing this, there we go, good. Now show them a technique version, Sir Dale. There we go. Okay, his hands are up, he goes, posts them down, and then he jumps with the leg that's on the floor. His one leg comes off the floor, and then the other leg pushes and jumps off the ground. Okay, do this along with him, guys. Great job, way to go, girls. Now, I'm seeing a bunch of boys and girls doing this. The girls' handstands are amazing. Oh my, it's almost like they, as if they know how to do this. Like It's just genetics. Let's go, boys. Let's try to keep up with the girls at home. Okay, great job. Oh, now Sir Dells is showing off. Good technique over here. Okay, great job over here, Sir Eddie. Great effort. Okay, keep breathing. Make sure you guys are breathing at home. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Excellent job. Excellent job. Keep going. Arms are straight. Make sure you guys are focusing on good technique. Okay, good technique. And make sure you guys are aware of your surrounding and be aware of your space. Right? Be aware of everything that's going on around you. There we go. Hold that handstand. Oh my goodness. Some of you guys are upside down for a long time. I can see you guys at home. Whoa. Mahek. Oh my gosh. He's a beast. Woo! Man McCall just gave you a shout out. I think you beat everybody, Mahek. That's true. Mahek, you beat everybody. Mahek is at home trying to make everyone look bad. Keep going. Keep going, Mahek. Keep going. Keep going. Sir Dale gives you the double thumbs up. He's a little winded. Woo! Keep going, Sir Eddie. Keep going, Sir Dale. Great job at home. Great job if you guys are following along. Great job. Great job. Awesome. Oh, look at that form over here. Look at that form. Oh, my gosh. Very nice. Very nice. And time, good, great job, great job. Okay, so now what? This is what we're gonna finish with, okay? So now what, um, let's do, have the two of you face each other. Yes, sir. And then lay on your back. So now watch, these are called like, I'm gonna have uh, Sir Eddie move back just a tad bit, Sir Eddie, or Sir Dale move back, you're good, Sir Eddie. Sir Dale move back, uh, separate yourself a little more. Okay, so now watch, you're gonna lay flat on your back and you're gonna work on your abs right now. I want you guys, this is called bicycle kick. So I want you guys to have your, like your palms on your ears. 
Okay, you don't have to actually physically touch your palms to your ears, but kind of like have your hands somewhere in that vicinity, that area. Point your elbows forward, and then with your lower body, with your ab, your legs, I want you to pretend you're, you're riding like an invisible bike. Okay, go for it. Start pedaling, sirs. Okay, so sir, you guys see how they're pedaling the bike? So you're just gonna pedal. The hardest part of this is gonna be keeping your hands here. Okay, so make sure you guys are keeping those hands here and not like this. Okay, you're gonna, hands are here, palms are facing in. It's gonna really burn. It's gonna really burn your abs. And that's the one muscle that we're trying to maintain. So while you guys are at home, okay, everyone's home right now, right? So the one muscle that we wanna make sure that you guys are keeping strong at home is your core. Okay, because even if you lose your stretch a little bit, even if your timing is off, as long as you maintain a strong core, relearning things, it's way easier. It's way simpler. Keep going. It should be burning by now, even for my high belts and my advanced students, okay? How do you feel, Sir Dale? Lovely. Be lovely, lovely. If you want to take it up a notch, have your feet a little higher, okay? Lovely. There we go, uh-huh. Feel that burn, guys. Feel that burn, feel that burn. Feel it, feel it, feel it. Yes, great job. Now time, okay? Catch your breath. Okay, good, good, good. Now watch. I want you guys to do this on your knees, okay? Because I want you guys to learn the proper technique. So last one, and then I think uh, I think we're just making our announcements. I think Toby's uh, waking. I think I, th I think I hear Toby. Yeah, I, I hear him waking up from his nap. So hopefully he doesn't get hu all hungry on me. Okay, because ho hopefully someone feeds Toby because I don't want to be eating lunch. Okay. All right, here we go. So now, Sir Eddie and Sir De uh, Sir Eddie and Sir Dale are going to face each other. Put your hands down, sirs, but in push your position to an angle this way. There we go. So now back is straight, so go and push your position, please. But on your knees, on your knees, though, because I want that one kid, I want the kid, huh? I want you guys to learn how to do this right, okay? So don't have your knees off the floor, have them with your knees down. And they're going to do clapping push ups, okay? So, Sir Eddie, Sir Dell, show them a clap push up. Okay, now the reason I want you guys on your knees, I want you guys to try this. When you push off the floor, clap here, and then clap there, and then catch. Or clap here and then catch. Try that one, sir. Try that, sir. Dale, go. Oh, okay. So that's why I want you guys to do this with your knees on the ground because you can't learn that with your knees off. You'll fall on your face and get hurt. For 30 seconds, you're going to clap behind you, clap in the front, catch. Ready? Go. And this is the last exercise we're going to do today, okay? Let's see. If you guys can clap or you guys can mix it up and change it up, you guys can just do like triple claps in the front. You can change it up a little bit, okay? You can mix and match the claps in the back with the claps in the front, okay? You can do like one, two, here. Try to mix it up a little bit, but whatever you do, don't fall on your face, okay? Because that's always bad. Falling on the face, never a good thing, right? So keep going, breathe. You're gonna exhale. Shh. Use that breath to control your body and your movement. Breathe, you gotta make sure you breathe, okay? Keep going, great job over here. Whoa, look at that. Oh my goodness. Whoa, look at that. Good technique. Come on, challenge yourself, guys. Look at that. Challenge yourself. Challenge yourself. Let's go. Whoa, I saw those claps, everybody at home. Awesome. Keep going. Keep going. 10 more seconds, okay? Feel that burn. Come on. Keep that body strong, guys, okay? Because when your body is strong, your mind stays sharp and strong, okay? And that's what we're really, really focused on is that body mind connection, okay? Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going, and time. Oh, nice job. There we go, pat yourself on the back. You guys did great. There you go, uh -huh. give yourself a high five because we can't give you a five. Nice job, nice job, give yourself a five. Boom, boom, fist count, fist count. Okay, now, so, great job, Sir Dale, welcome back. Okay, happy birthday, right? So happy birthday, Sir Dale. Okay, great job, Sir Eddie. Okay, now, um, let's see. Uh, oh, don't forget, don't forget your towel chucks, okay? Don't, and then and Friday, don't forget Friday is pajama day, okay? Uh, uh, Toby, can you grab some towel chucks? There we go, so Toby's gonna grab his towel chucks now that he's well rested. Okay, and start showing them some towel chucks, Toby. So don't forget, every day, and then start spinning it around, Toby. There we go, and let's do some circles, Toby, like it's a jump rope, do some circles. Okay, then we'll go the other way. Look at that, huh, whoa! Oh, I got, I got a little snip of that little towel chuck. Okay, so don't forget, we're gonna be using the towel chucks every day that are homemade nunchucks. Okay, 
So make sure those are ready to go tomorrow. Don't forget Friday's pajama day. Okay, next week I think we're gonna have like a superhero day. We're gonna have we're gonna try to keep this as fun as we can. And don't forget, remember stay positive at home, stay strong, stay fit, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Part two coming in ten minutes for the older. Oh, and then part two coming up for the older kids in ten minutes. Okay, remember we can live chat too. So we're online. Man, Nicole's online. If you guys want to give any shout outs, go ahead and do that. You guys are all. I want you guys. If you guys want to stay. Uh, and come back for the five o'clock class. We welcome you guys to do that. So Eddie's going to show you guys how to use your belt to mimic some wrestling movements and some submissions with your legs, with your arms. Okay, it's going to be a really killer workout. Okay, and we're going to be using objects as like almost like weights to get our body strong. So that's at five o'clock for all my leaders, all my black belts, advanced students. Okay, in ten minutes we're going to come back live in ten minutes. So, but for now, let's bow out. Um, here we go. Let's do this, Sir Dale. Why don't you bow us out? Go ahead, Sir Dale. Hello, everybody. Ready? Arms up. Yes, sir. Set. Set. Yay. All right. Great job, guys. Great job. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Great job. Great job. We'll see you guys tomorrow.